The FA Cup is what real competition, what it is really about. You play football, I play football. Okay, let's uh, go out today and see who of us two is the best. On the day, show me that you're better than me. That's why it is so loved all over the world. The FA Cup final was one of the few games I could watch when I was a kid in France. I was at Wembley as a fan and a spectator sitting behind the goal when I was younger. I experienced the, the tight seats at uh, Wembley uh, not being capable to move and having pain at your back. Wembley was absolutely the paradise for a real football player because the pitch was immaculate. So you had the right to play on the perfect uh, ground. It's the only game maybe where you have the crowd divided in two, your fans and your opponent fans. Then, of course, the pressure is on. You have uh, that trophy that you see and you do not want somebody else to go home with it. Yes, that's my first one. The first year that we made the double. At the time, you know, that was a unique opportunity. That was something that was unbelievable for me. You see Tony Adams here, young boy and happy boy. David Seaman, Dixon. That was the older generation. They knew what to do on the day of a final. They had experience, they had won before, and they had uh, Shearer on the other side. They knew how to handle him. I had never any headache to put them on the, on the team sheet on Friday night. It was just natural. In, in this moment, more than ever, because I as well had never experienced it. You know, I was like a, a young beginner, so for me it was new as well, so their experience was brighter. It's uh, emotional for me because that's 98, you know. All these guys today, they are over 50. <laughs> I had all my friends here, you know, on the day. For a championship, you cannot invite everybody, but for an FA Cup final, you can have all the people you love in your life being there and sharing it with you. So it was special, I never forget that. And sometimes today I still think about that day. 98 is a special memory for me. That was a very difficult game because Chelsea here had already a very strong team. The one that sticks in my mind is a Ray Paolo goal. Still Tyler, got a side of goal! And what a goal from Ray Paolo! On the day that was exceptional. And after Freddie Jungberg is a great goal as well. Freddie Jungberg was a penetrator by the timing of his runs and by the verticality of his runs. What uh, strikes me here, he was composed to finish. That shows it was already a Freddie Jungberg who had gathered experience. I realize now how good my players were because at the time, sometimes you see only what they don't do and uh, with a distance. You see how good they were. Three days later, we went to Man United and won the championship. So these three days together, of course, are especially in the memory of Arsenal. What is exceptional in his save is in a final fraction of second of his movement. He still has a little push of his body and of his hand uh, to make the save. Can they find a cutting edge? Saba, Pesky Solano off the line! It was somehow kept out by Seaman. That is a fantastic save. He was very flexible, very coordinated. On top of that, he was a great anticipator. I wanted him to finish on the high. And on the day he did it, that's what you wish when you're manager. The Berg Cup, and they put it together right here. It's Freddie Youngberg, it's Robert Perez, it's 1-0 Arsenal. We were a favourite because we have beaten them six, I think, uh, two weeks or three weeks before. That's where you cannot afford to lose. When you play Chelsea, when you play Liverpool, when you play Man United, it's different. This is for me the final we deserve the less to win on the day. The best we could hope was to play a draw and uh, win it on penalty. That's what happened, basically. Patrick Vieira for Arsenal. He's done it! 
But FA Cup final is that as well. You have sometimes to stick together, not give in. It's emotional as well because that is the last kick of Patrick Vieira. I was a bit anxious because it was not the real penalty taker, you know, but he took a perfect penalty. When you look back uh, at uh, trophies or successful seasons, you realize always one important thing. All these players, they were intelligent and focused and motivated and they had a kind of behavior refusing to be average. There was a charisma in their attitude, in their desire to be better. You see the happiness of what, what it means, special moments, special days, special moments of your life. You would like these kind of memories, but you have to be patient to get that. <laughs> and I cannot complain because I had many. <laughs>
My word, he's hit that Favorite one. creates a level of anxiety. The fact that you had won it the year before, the fact that you scored the first goal, makes your anxiety disappear and then you can just play like you want to play. On top of that, maybe Aston Villa had thought they had done the biggest part by getting into the final, they had not been there for a long, long time and maybe on the day it was a bit too much for them. FA Cup final like you dream to have. That is one of the most difficult because uh, Chelsea is champion. He needed something special from us uh, to win it. And Sanchez! It's amazing! It's Aaron Ramsey! That's the response of Arsenal! Here again you have Ramsey who had that, uh, the timing of his runs into the box. You see that again on the header. Absolutely amazing. But on the day it was a great performance. Mertesacker played only one game that season and it was the final. It shows as well that uh, when a guy like him he was not playing, but kept his focus and his motivation for the whole season and in the end he was rewarded by winning the FA Cup. He's the best example that never give up, someday uh, you will be rewarded. I never forget 98 uh, when you made the first double, you walk through Islington, you realise the number of people who are there. The huge size of the club make you realise that you cannot neglect any competition. This competition exists for 150 years. I'm a little French boy coming to England and I have won it more than anybody else. I'm of course very proud of that. It's not easy. Um, basically every three years I won the FA Cup. I'm very proud of it because it shows a remarkable consistency that I had a huge respect for this competition as well. You still live every day with what you should have done and what you have not done. So sometimes to have moments where I think uh, maybe you're not as bad as you think you are, you know, uh, it's not, it's good as well. <laughs>